All right, this is my daughter's 2003 Toyota Prius. Um, she took it to uh, a snappy lube yesterday to get it inspected. And she, you know, just the North Carolina safety inspection is all they were doing. Um, and the people at the snappy lube decided that they needed to check the air filter, which is under here. Um, they told her it was dirty. And after she left, the car no longer worked. And here's why. Because when you take the air filter off, right down in here, Right down there is the uh, mass airflow sensor, also called a MAF sensor. Um, they apparently got some dirt down in the MAF sensor, and then when the MAF sensor has dirt in it, it's not going to let the car run right. So um, I did some troubleshooting. I was getting an error code that was P19, I'm sorry, P3191, um, and that error code um, indicates a MAF sensor, among other things. Um, but after doing some troubleshooting, I figured out it was this MAF sensor, which is attached right here. And I need to replace this MAF sensor. I've already checked it. Um, I've replaced it once. I'm just going back to show you how it's done. It's really not that hard. Um, the, the best way to do it is first just disconnect this connector on the MAF sensor. Disconnect that. And you got a couple bolts up here that need to come out. I've already loosened them. That one might not be loose. Then um, over here, there's two hoses. There's a big wide hose. It's an air hose for the air intake. And this one, I think, is for the uh, exhaust gas recirculation or something. I'm not sure what it is, but there's a little clamp on there. You just squeeze the clamp, slide it back, and then that hose will come off. And on this one, you've got to loosen this big bolt here. And after that bolt's loosened up, you can slide the intake hose off. Hmm. You'll need to loosen it some more. And that comes right off. Um, and there's one more bolt. Down here, there's a, it's like a hose clamp or a band clamp that um, goes between this air box and the throttle body. And all these use 10 millimeter uh, bolts. So I just need to loosen that up. I've already got it pretty loose. And once that's loose, I can just lift this thing right off. So now the whole thing comes out. Now I can get to these two screws. I've already removed them. But there's two screws right there that uh, just come out with a Phillips screwdriver. And then this comes right out. That's the uh, mass airflow sensor. So now I just take the new mass airflow sensor. This is actually the new one. The old one was dirty. Um, take the new one, put it right back in there, screw it back down, bolt everything together, and the problem should be cleared up. Um, and uh, what else was I going to say? There was something else. I'll remember and be right back. I, I remember there, there were two things. Um, one, that uh, that MAF sensor, the local auto parts places, AutoZone and uh, um, Advanced Auto Parts, they had them, but they were about 80 bucks. I looked on the internet. And uh, on the internet, you can get them for 30 bucks on eBay. Um, and they're brand new. They're supposed to work exactly the same. Um, I didn't get one of those because I didn't have you know, you know a week to wait for the part to show up. But if you've got some time, save yourself 50 bucks and get one on eBay. Um, and the other thing was, uh, let me see. Oh yeah, the, what was the other thing? Now I forget the other thing. I'll remember in a minute. I remembered now as I'm bolting this thing back together. Um, the other thing was. Um, you may as well go ahead, if you're going to replace the thing, before spending the money to replace it, just get yourself some carburetor cleaner and try to clean it out. Um, if it's already messed up, it's not like you're going to break it because it's already broken. So uh, some carburetor cleaner might be able to clean it out, and you might not have to spend the 30 bucks to replace it. Um, but anyway, after I did this, this is the second time I've done it, I'm just doing it to show it on the video now, um, after replacing it. Um, I reset the codes with a, with a scan tool. If you don't have a scan tool, you can take the car to um, one of those auto parts places. And they'll, they'll scan it for you and they'll reset the codes if you uh, ask them to. Um, but take the car to an auto parts place or buy yourself a scan tool. 
which are anywhere from 50 bucks to 250 bucks. Um, but then just reset the code and uh, everything should be good. And that's it.